Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about the product rule of logarithms. And what the definition states is that the log of a product is equal to the sum of the logs of its factors. So what that means is this. Log base b of xy, okay, and this here is a product because it consists of two factors. The log of this product is equal to the sum of the logs of its factors. So the log of this factor and the log of this factor. So this can be written like this. Log base b of x plus log base b of y. Simple, right? Here, I'll show you again. Log base b of z squared y is equal to log base b of z squared plus log base b of y. Now how about this? How about log base 3 of 81? Let's break this up so that way it looks kind of like this where we have two factors, okay? Let's write this as log base 3 of 9 times 9, okay? Do you see this? 81 is the same as 9 times 9. All right, so now let's do this. It says here that the log of a product, okay, the log of this product right here is equal to the sum of the logs of its factors. Okay, so the log basically of this 9 and the log base 3 of this 9. Okay, so we're going to write this like this. Log base 3 of this 9 plus log base 3 of this 9 right here. Okay. And let me get a little fancy. And that, that's about it, okay? Now, let's, let's go one step further. What is log base 3 of 9? Well, if you watch the, the uh, fundamental property of logs video, log base 3 of 9, this 9 can be written as 3 squared, right? So let's do this. Log base 3 of this 9 into 3 squared, right? And I'm going to do the same with this one here, too. So I changed it like this. And here I used, used the fundamental property of logs. Okay? And now that these are the same, like the 3 and the 3 are the same, I can cancel these out. And this is the same, so I can cancel these out. And I'll know what the 2 and the 2. And 2 plus 2 is... Four. Okay. All right. So now let's let's try some other ones. Log base b of x squared minus four. So this can be written like this. We can factor out uh, x squared minus four, and we'll get log base b of x plus two times x minus two. Okay. And this can be broken up like this log base b of x plus 2 plus log base b of x minus 2. How about this one? How about log base b of, um, let me see, x squared y? This would be equal to log base b of x squared plus log base b of y. So as you can see, basically what you're doing is you're just taking the factors and you're copying down the log base b part, okay? And you're writing it down twice basically. You're writing it here and you're writing it here and what you're doing is you're adding the log of the of the factors, okay? You're adding the log of the factors and that's equal to as you've seen here as you see here, let's say for instance you don't know what log base 2 of 16 is. Well, 16 basically you can write it as 4 times 4, right? So in that case, log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of 4, and you can derive your answer. The same thing with 81 over here, log base 3 of 81. So if you're working with kind of a difficult number and you're not sure, you know, what the uh, exponent is that you're raising the base to, you can always do it this way. You can. That's what this uh, rule states. You'll probably use this more in college algebra and in calculus, 
Um, but for the most part, you know, this is kind of just to get you the idea of, um, of how to handle uh, products that you're taking the logs of. So um, let's, let's try this example. Okay, so let's say you were trying to find the log of this number. What if you're trying to find log of 6,700,000? Okay, like I mentioned before, it's understood that this, there's a 10 here. So we're talking about log base 10 of this number here. So what you could do is this. You can convert this to scientific notation. 6.7 times 10 to the 6. So what we can do is this. We can write it log of 6.7 times 10 to the 6 power. Log of 6.7 plus log of 10 to the 6. Now, using the fundamental property of logs, we know that it's understood there's a 10 right here, right? So that means that this cancels out and all you're left with is a 6, right? So you would end up getting, this is equal to log 6.7 plus 6. Okay, so the log of 6.7 now, on your calculator, what you want to do is you want to do this. This is the button sequence. You would push log, okay, and then the number. So in this case here, 6.7, and then push equal, okay. For some calculators, you might have, like this is for Texas Instrument, okay. If you have like Casio or Sharp, you might have to type this in. You might have to type in 6.7, then push log, and then it'll just give you the number. It'll give you the answer, basically. Um, and in this case here, when I put it in, I have a TI, so what I got was this. For log 6.7, I got this. I got point eight two six zero seven. Four, eight, and I got some other numbers. Um, let's just do it to a few places here, like maybe maybe four places. I wrote more out, but you don't necessarily have to do that. So plus six, so we're adding six to this now. You'll get six point eight two six zero oh, seven four eight dot dot dot. Um, in this case here, you may want to just round this off to like 6.826 okay and so to check it um, you would type in in your calculator 10 to the 6.826 6.826 and because we rounded it we're gonna get an answer really close to six million seven hundred thousand not exactly it but for the most part this is what you're doing if you really wanted it to be exact use all the numbers in this case here for it to be exact we would we would use more numbers like let me see what what came after this eight four zero two seven so in this case zero seven four eight zero two seven and then if I raise ten to this power ten to this power here okay then I would get like six million seven hundred thousand okay so this is kind of just a basic idea you know um let's see let's try something else here. All right, what if we're trying to go backwards the other way? Like, let's say, for instance, we had log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of uh, y to the fourth. Well, in this case here, we're adding these. They both have the same bases, right? Log base 3, log base 3. Okay, As they have to be the same. Since that's the case, you can write it once, okay? And now, since they're the same and you're adding these two logs together, then in that case, these are products, okay? These are factors for a product. So in this case here, you would get x, y to the fourth. So we'll try another one. How about log base b of n plus log base b of n plus m? Well, in this case here, since both bases are the same, you're going to get log base b of 
n times n plus m. Okay, and then you can go ahead and distribute, and you're going to get log base b of n squared plus um, n m. You can put that in parentheses. Okay, and how about this one? How about log base 3 of 4x squared plus log base 3 of, let's say, b squared. Well, in this case here, both logs are the same. Both log, log bases are the same. So in this case here, you would write log base 3 of 4x squared b squared. And that's it. So, you know, going forward and backward, it's, it's pretty simple. And um, I hope this helped. So good luck with your test and homework in the future.